Henry Lee III, also known as Light Horse Harry Lee, was an early American patriot who served as the ninth governor of Virginia and as the Virginia representative to the United States Congress. During the American Revolution, Lee served as a cavalry officer in the Continental Army and earned the nickname Light Horse Harry. Lee was the father of Confederate General Robert E. Lee. Life and career Lee was born near Dumfries, Virginia, the son of Henry Lee II of Lay, Sylvania, and Lucy Grimes the Lowland Beauty. His father was the second cousin of Richard Henry Lee, 12th President of the Continental Congress. His mother was an aunt of the wife of Virginia Governor Thomas Nelson, Jr. His great grandmother Mary Bland was also a grand aunt of President Thomas Jefferson. Lee was the grandson of Henry Lee I, a great grandson of Richard Bland, and a great great grandson of William Randolph. He was also a descendant of Theodoric Bland of Westover and Governor Richard Bennett. Military career Lee graduated from the College of New Jersey in 1773 and began pursuing a legal career. With the outbreak of the Revolutionary War, he became a captain in a Virginia Dragoon Detachment, which was attached to the First Continental Light Dragoons. In 1778, Lee was promoted to major and given the command of a mixed corps of cavalry and infantry known as Lee's Legion, with which he won a great reputation as a leader of light troops. At that time, such military groups would engage the enemy using what is now known as guerrilla tactics. It was during his time as commander of the Legion that Lee earned the sobriquet of Light Horse Harry for his horsemanship. On September 22, 1779 the Continental Congress voted to present Lee with a gold medal a Euro or award given to no other officer below a general's rank a Euro for the Legion's actions during the Battle of Paulus Hook in New Jersey, on August 19 of that year. Lee was promoted to lieutenant colonel and was assigned with his legion to the Southern Theater of War. Lee's legion raided the British outpost of Georgetown, South Carolina with General Francis Marion in January 1781 and helped screen the American army in their race to the Dan River the following month. Lee united with General Francis Marion and General Andrew Pickens in the spring of 1781 to capture numerous British outposts in South Carolina and Georgia including Fort Watson. Fort Mott, Fort Granby, Fort Galfin, Fort Grierson, and Fort Cornwallis, Augusta, Georgia. They conducted a campaign of terror and intimidation against loyalists in the region, highlighted in Pyle's massacre. Lee and his legion also served at the Battle of Guilford Courthouse, the Siege of 96, and the Battle of Utah Springs. He was present at Cornwallis's surrender at Yorktown but left the army shortly after claiming fatigue and disappointment with his treatment from fellow officers. During the Whiskey Rebellion, Lee commanded the 12,950 militiamen sent to quash the rebels. Marriages and Children Between April 8 and 13, 1782, at Stratford Hall, Lee married his second cousin, Matilda Ludwell Lee, who was known as the Divine Matilda. Matilda was the daughter of Philip Ludwell Lee, Sr and Elizabeth Steptoe. Matilda had three children before she died in 1790. Philip Lee, Lucy Grimes Lee, Henry Lee IV, was a historian and author who also served as a speechwriter for both John C. Calhoun and presidential candidate Andrew Jackson, also helping the latter to write his inaugural address. On June 18, 1793, Lee married the wealthy Anne Hill Carter at Shirley Plantation. Anne was the daughter of Charles Carter, Esquire, of Shirley, and his wife Anne Butler Moore. She was also a descendant of King Robert II of Scotland through the second Earl of Crawford. They had six children, Algin and Sidney Lee, died at Sully Plantation, buried there in an unmarked grave, Charles Carter Lee, Anne Kinlock Lee, Sidney Smith Lee, Robert Edward Lee, the fifth child of Henry and Anne, served as Confederate General-in-Chief during the American Civil War. Robert E. Lee ranks among the most famous and revered American soldiers in U.S. history, and his campaigns are still studied by military tacticians and historians around the world. Mildred Lee, Politics. From 1786 to 1788, Lee was a delegate to the Congress of the Confederation, and in the last named year in the Virginia Convention, he favored the adoption of the United States Constitution. From 1789 to 1791, he served in the General Assembly and, 
from 1791 to 1794, was governor of Virginia. In 1794, Lee accompanied Washington to help the suppression of the Whiskey Rebellion in western Pennsylvania. A new county of Virginia was named after him during his governorship. Henry Lee was a major general in the U.S. Army in 1798 to Euro 1800. From 1799 to 1801, he served in the United States House of Representatives of the Congress. He famously eulogized Washington to a crowd of 4,000 at the first president's funeral on December 26, 1799, first in Wara Euro, first in Piercea Euro, and first in the hearts of his countrymen. The Panic of 1796 a Euro 1797 and bankruptcy of Robert Morris reduced Lee's fortune. He served one year in debtor's prison in Montrose, Virginia, when his son Robert Edward was two. Death on July 27, 1812, Lee received grave injuries while helping to resist an attack on his friend, Alexander Conti Hansen, Hanson, editor of the Baltimore newspaper, The Federal Republican. Hanson was attacked by Democratic Republican mob because his paper opposed the War of 1812. Lee and Hanson and two dozen other Federalists had taken refuge in the offices of the paper. The group surrendered to Baltimore City officials the next day and were jailed. Laborer George Wunslicker led a mob that forced its way into the jail, removed the Federalists, beating and torturing them over the next three hours. All were severely injured, and one Federalist, James Lingan, died. Lee suffered extensive internal injuries as well as head and face wounds, and even his speech was affected. Lee later sailed to the West Indies in an effort to recuperate from his injuries. He died on March 25, 1818, at Dungeness on Cumberland Island, Georgia. Lee was buried with full military honors provided by an American fleet station near St. Mary's. In 1913 his remains were removed to the Lee family crypt at Lee Chapel, on the campus of Washington and Lee University in Lexington, Virginia. In popular culture, the fictional character of Colonel Harry Burrell in the film The Patriot is thought to have been inspired by the historical exploits of Lee. In the musical 1776 Lee's nickname is mentioned during the song The Lees of Old Virginia. Published works, Lee, Henry, and Robert E. Lee. Memoirs of the War in the Southern Department of the United States. Eyewitness Accounts of the American Revolution. New York New York Times, 1969. See also. Light Horse Tavern, Light Horse Harry Lee Cabin, References. Further reading. A Chisholm, Hugh, Ed Lee, Henry. Encyclopaedia Britannica. Cambridge University Presser, External Links, Observations on the Writings of Thomas Jefferson, by Henry Lee and Charles Carter Lee, Baltimore Riots of 1812, Contemporary Account, A Summary, Lee's Legion Remembered, Profiles of the Second Partisan Corps, Archival Records, A Guide to the Governor Henry Lee Executive Papers, 1791 to 1794 at the Library of Virginia, Henry Lee III at the Biographical Directory of the United States Congress retrieved on July 2, 2008.